Welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today I wanted to take a look at a really cool new GPS utility by Mark, M0IAX. Stick around and we'll get right to it. So I ran across this on Instagram recently and uh, put a comment on Mark's Instagram and asked him a little bit more about it. And Mark was kind enough to send me the GitHub link. So I wanted to take a few minutes today and show you guys how to get this GPS utility installed. So I'm just going to minimize uh, this machine because this is my primary portable machine and I've already got it up and running. And we'll head over to a basic setup where very little is installed. All right, so before we get going, uh, you will need two things already installed and set up on your system. Uh, the first is JS8 Call. And I've done a video on that. I'll leave that uh, up at the top. And I'll also leave a link to it down in the description below. And then you also need the GPS uh, installation done. And I've also done a video on that. So I'll leave a link to that at the top. And again, down in the description below. All right, so let's head over to Mark's GitHub site. And I'll leave a link to this as well down in the description. But we're just going to come right here and click on the clone or download. And then click the little clipboard to copy that to our clipboard. Now let's head back over to the Pi. And in the terminal, I'm going to go ahead and move to the downloads directory. And then let's use the git clone command. So git space clone. And then we will paste in the link that we just copied and go ahead and hit return. And that just takes a couple of seconds to download. All right, so let's list out our directory here. And you'll see that we have a new directory. So let's go ahead and move into the new directory. So cd JS8 call tools. And we'll just clear that screen. Okay, so I just took a second here to run the sudo app git update uh, to make sure that I had the latest uh, packages ready for download. And there's a couple more pieces of software that are required to make his app work. Uh, the first one is this uh, GPS. So we'll use the pip3 install command and go ahead and get that installed. All right, once that finishes up, we'll run this command, pip3 install maidenhead. After that, let's run a quick reboot on the machine. Okay, after the reboot, let's go ahead and move back to that directory again. So in downloads and then JS8 call tools. And we'll list out that directory there. So you see the app right here in green, and that's the one we want to run. So let's use dot forward slash JS8 call GPS UI dot pi. And go ahead and press the return key. And I'm just going to minimize that terminal window. We'll move this over here out of the way, and let's open up JS8 call. Okay, now one other requirement before we can use the GPS utility. We need to go into our file settings and under reporting, let's make sure all three of these checkboxes are checked. We'll just say okay. Okay, so let's just make that a little bit bigger. Scoot this over. Now you notice right here, I've just got the six characters for my grid square. But over here in the new GPS utilities window, let's click get the grid from GPS. And you'll see now that it's pulled in more information to give me a more precise location. Now we've got a couple of options here. We can either transmit it by clicking this button or we can just say send the grid to JS8 call. So if we go ahead and click the send button, it'll take it just a couple of seconds and you'll be able to see it populate right here. And there it is. There's our updated grid. You can also have this thing auto-update every 10 minutes by checking this box. 
So that's another feature that's built into GPS utilities. Uh, and then, of course, like I said, you can go ahead and transmit that grid as well. Or you could do it the other way by right-clicking and sending it out through the JS8 call app itself. All right, guys. Well, there's a look at the GPS utilities by Mark M0IAX. I think he's did a fantastic job on simplifying this and making it a little bit easier to quickly send out your grid square. Be sure to click that thumbs up before you head out. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Until next time, 7-3.